This video presents a new arthroscopic technique to directly visualize the safe deployment and sitting of the tightrope button on the medial cortex of the femur during PCL reconstruction. During examination under general anesthesia, instability of the knee can be identified with the posterior drawer test, which is endorsed with the detection of a slack ACL during arthroscopy. Under a transnotch visualization, the posterior medial portal is established in a standard fashion to perform the transeptal approach. With the arthroscope under the ACL, a transnotch view of the lateral side of the septum is obtained in order to control the septum debridement, with the shaver coming from the posterior medial portal. Now, the transeptal portal is established, and the arthroscope is placed in the posterior medial portal passing through the transeptal portal to perform the posterior lateral portal. A radio frequency device is then inserted through the posterior lateral portal to separate the septum from the capsule and then visualize the PCL tibial footprint. With the arthroscope in the posterior medial portal, the hook of the PCL tibial guide is introduced through the anterior medial portal towards the PCL tibial footprint. A guide wire is introduced from the hamstrings insertion site under direct visualization. Then it is over drilled with the 9mm cannulated rimmer. A suture loop is then passed into the tibial tunnel and retrieved from the anterolateral portal. The PCL femoral tunnel is then performed by introducing a guide wire from the medial femoral cortex using a drill guide, piercing the femoral PCL footprint. With the knee in full extension, the scope is introduced through the anterolateral portal into the medial gutter to directly visualize the guide wire. Then, the synovial tissue around the wire is debrided using a shaver from the anteromedial portal to avoid soft tissue interposition between the button and the femur. Now, the PCL femoral tenue is reamed from outside in using a flip cutter. Using a fiber stick, the loop is grasped and pulled to the femoral side, leaving the fiber stick filling the PCL tunnel from its exit in the tibia to its entry into the femur. Maintaining the knee 90 degrees of flexion, with the arthroscope placed in the anterior lateral portal, the suture attached to the PCL graft is tied to the PCL suture loop and pulled through the tibial tunnel exiting from the femoral tunnel. Now, with the knee in full extension, the arthroscope is introduced through the anterolateral portal into the medial gutter to visualize the proper position of the button on the medial cortex of the femur. By following this technique, the surgeon can avoid the complications that are associated with the misplacement of the tightrope button.